Hello homeschoolers! I'm Kat. Welcome po sa Homeschooling VNZ. Sa video na to, aking isushare naman sa inyo ang mga math manipulatives na ginagamit namin sa aming tahanan para maturuan ang aming mga anak ng mga math concepts. Ano nga ba ang manipulatives at uh, para saan ba to? Ano ba ang idudulot ito sa ating uh, mga anak? Okay. Alip ko, maraming mga magulang sa atin yung natutuwa na kapag yung anak natin na 1 year old ay nakaka-count na ng 1 to 10, di ba? Um, Dumaan rin ako sa stage na yan na, wow, ang galing anak ko, maroon na mag-count ng 1 to 10. Uh, but ito do we know na nakamemorize lang pala niya yung number. Hindi niya naintindihan na merong uh, ibig sabihin yung mga numero na yun. No? Merong quantity na naka-equate doon sa numeral na nakikita niya sa pader or sa flashcards. So, ang um, manipulatives is something that the child can hold, child can understand, para mabuti yung konsepto ng matematika. Ano-ano ba yung mga topics na tinuturo natin yung sulis sa mga anak natin during the toddler and the preschool year? So, tinuturo natin sila ng counting, shapes, and colors. So, yun naman yung basic na tinuturo natin ng math concepts. So, here are the materials that we are using sa bahay. Most of the materials that I have are bought online. So, I'll try to find the links of these materials. Ilalagay ko na sila sa description box para makita nyo rin sa Shopee or sa Facebook or sa Instagram kung saan ko sila nabili. So, our first material is something that you can find at your own homes. Uh, Pinaka-favorite ko na material are food, yung nakakain. So, pwede siyang biscuits, pwede siyang grapes, pwede siyang apple, uh, cookies, ayan. So, yung mga favorite ng mga anak ko is especially mga cookies, ayan. Kasi cookies, biscuits, something that they can count before they eat. What I usually do is integrate the lesson sa kung ano pa ginagawa namin. So, for example, bago pa niya kainin ng binigay ko ng cookies, pwede niyang bilangin muna ito. Kanyar, one, two, three, no? tatlo. Di ba, special doon, may lalagyan ng bingo, tatlo yung cookies na nasa loob nun. So, bibilangin niya muna yun. In the concept naman of division, let's say I have nine grapes, and then I'll tell one of my kids na i-divide sa kanilang tatlong magkakapatid. So, doon, naitindihan nila na pwede ko palang i-divide yung grapes ng equal portion. So, something that they can hold and they can understand yung quantity. Other materials that you can find in your own homes are pwedeng kutsara, pwede rin silang magbilang ng toys. Ayun, favorite nila yung pagbibilang ng toys. Uh, ilan yung cars na meron, ilan yung Barbie na meron, ilan yung logo blocks na red. Ayan. So, I start with those, eh. uh, especially when it comes to teaching them colors and quantity uh, sa blocks. Nyari, uh, the big blocks yung nabibili natin na malaking blocks. Uh, yun, pwede yung, These are the color greens, the color reds, the color blues, the color yellows. So, we get to introduce to them the different colors and then we also allow them to sort. So, sorting is a good practice for kids for their brain development. It's a different topic naman na. Other material that you can use from your own homes na pwede yung gamitin manipulative ay yung mga sipit. Okay, yung mga sipit sa damit. So, I started with uh, the regular plastic na sipit tulad nito na nabibili sa palengke. And then eventually, na medyo nagmura-mura na yung wooden uh, <laughs> clips na I started naman na collecting the wooden clips. So there are so many things that you can do with clips. Pwede sorting, pwede counting, pwede knowing, uh, identifying the colors. Pwede nyo rin silang gamitin sa different uh, activities for phonics, for letters. Uh, so, uh, for me, uh, ito yung isang bagay na dapat meron kayo, yung mga sipit. Also, you can use the sipit para naman ma-develop yung kanilang mga fine motor skills. Nung mga babies pa, yung mga anak ko, uh, favorite manipulative ko rin ay itong wooden pang sort. So, I don't have na yung pang sort na mismo na ini-insert. Pero, I'll try to find the picture para ma-place ko dito para makita nyo kung ano yung sinasabi ko. So, these wooden ano ba tawag sa kanila? Chips. Ayan, or mga circles na to. Uh, at dito nag-start yung mga anak ko na mag-count. Ayan, so up to 10 kasi yun eh. So, you can also use this for sorting and for identify colors. And if you're going naman to buy, you can start for the toddlers. You can start buying naman yung mga popsicle sticks. So, for toddlers and babies, I recommend you use yung mga malalaking popsicle sticks. Katulad and colorful. Uh, again, you can use these for sorting, identify colors, counting. And then, uh, when they get bigger na, siguro mga preschoolers, preschooler years, pwede naman na kayo gumamit ito mas maliliit na. For, ano lang yan, 
Kasi choky hazard pag medyo maliit. Yan. So, pag mga babies, and toddler, mga 2 years old, you can use these. Eventually, you can use these popsicle sticks and put Velcro, katulad nito, na ginawa ko. Ayan. And then, you can ask your kid na to create different shapes. So, yeah. So, pwede niya na kayo mag-introduce ng different shapes using uh, Velcro stickers and popsicle sticks, katulad nito. Yeah, so this one, like, triangle. Also, for babies and toddlers, uh, gumawa ako before ng sandpaper numbers from 0 to 9. Uh, I'll leave the link sa aking blog sa baba para meron kayong ideas kung para kong ginamit yun. And then, this one, I bought it online. Uh, this is also a sandpaper, well, inspired sandpaper na numerals para ma-identify naman ng mga bata yung mga numerals. So, from 0 to 9 ito, itong mga numbers na to. Ayan. So, malalaki sila at uh, gusto ko kasi yung, yung simple lang yung number, walang masyadong kaarte yung mga numbers para mas madali nilang ma-identify yung numbers na to. So, 0 to 9. This is for toddlers and babies. And preschoolers. Another thing that we use at home are our counting or lacing buttons. Ayan. So, ito, ginilace na ng isang anak ko to, ng akin 3-year-old. So, you can buy these online. Itong mga buttons na to. Malalaki siya. Tapos, may mga butas siya. So, you can practice thread your fine motor skills by lacing them for color identification, color sorting, counting. So, maganda siya. Marami siyang pwedeng paggamitin itong mga to. We also use Montessori number rods, katulad nito. I don't have all of them here with me. Uh, basically, para ma-introduce sa bata yung differences ng quantity, katulad nito, mas marami ang, ang, ang 8 as compared to 5. Kanyan. So, we can use this to identify numbers, comparing numbers, kanyan siya for addition. Also, we have an abacus. Ito, matanda na talaga itong siguro mga... 8 years old na to. Ito is sa mga pinakaunang uh, binili ko para sa anak ko. So, this is good for counting and identifying colors na rin. So, maganda kasi siya kasi up to 100 na siya. And then, for my kinder students since uh, na-introduce sa kanya yung counting up to 100, I also purchased itong mga number tiles. Ayan. So, meron kasi akong lalagyan nung uh, mga wooden tiles ko. So, kasama na dito yung mga letters. Pero, dito yung mga number tiles nga. Ito yung now 1 to 100. Ayan. Para ma-introduce sa kanya yung numerals from 1 to 100. And then, I also have this lagyan. Ito talaga for counters ko. Ito ang ginagamit ko talaga for my toddler and for my kinder student. So, I have a lot of counters. So, meron akong nag-start ako sa Montessori Beads. Tulad nito. Ayan. So, pero, nagkawala-wala na sila. Pero, I have these before. And then, meron akong counting sticks. Counting sticks. I have, syempre, die. Meron na akong mga wooden numerals. Katulad nito. Just for identification. Meron na naman magnetic. Ayan. Pag tipuan namin na gumamit ng ng fridge, yung pinto ng fridge. Pwede namin gamitin yan. And then, a lot of um, counters, circle counters. So, I have plastic circle counters like these na maganda rin siya for sorting and identifying colors and counting. And then, I also have wooden circle counters. Ito naman. Wooden naman siya. Yan. So, yun naman ginagamit namin for counting. For shapes, you also use tangram. So, ito. Nandito na yung mga pang tangram ko. Uh, yung mga basic lang naman yung pinapakita ko sa mga maliliit na mga anak ko. Katulad nito, triangle, square, just for them to identify those different kinds of shapes. And then we also use um, Montessori geometric shapes. Uh, we use that to identify the different 3D shapes. Katulad ng cube, ng cone, ng ovoid. So I have those as well. Also use link cubes or yung sa iba tatawag na lang unifix. Uh, these are, eto, naglilink mo siya. So, maganda siya for counting and then for addition and subtraction. So, ginagamit namin to, especially sa kinder student ko pagdating sa addition and subtraction. So, meron kaming uh, iba't ibang color nito. So, what we do is, kunyari, mag add siya ng 3 and 2. So, yung 3 yung yellow and then another color naman yung 2 
na Linkubes. And then, pagdating naman into higher level na, meaning elementary na, uh, we have the base 10 cubes. So, we have here a set ng hundreds, ng thousands, ng tens, and ones. Uh, we use these for them to identify the bigger numbers na kasi up to 1,000 na ito. Okay. And then recently, kasi we introduced fractions sa aking teacher student, we, are, uh, we used these fraction. Ayan. Ano ba tawag dito? Fraction foams. Yun ata tao dyan. I'll just leave the link sa baba. Kung saka siya nabili. And then, we also use this clock. Uh, this has been with us for, ano na, siguro mga seven years na, <laughs> or six years. Yeah, so I use these, I use this to teach time. If you don't have this, you can use an alarm clock, or if you have a uh, wall clock na hindi nyo naman ginagamit, pwede nyo rin gamitin yun para panturo ng time sa inyong mga anak. So those are the math manipulatives that we use at home. I hope nakakuha kayo ng idea kung anong magagamit niyo sa bahay niyo para matuluan niyo pa ang inyong mga anak pagdating sa konsepto ng matematika. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Thank you again for watching and see you on our next video. Happy homeschooling!